Morning guys, right then, I'm on site this morning uh, to a trailer, a trailer that I came to yesterday to look at and it's got a heavily corroded valve, it's a modulator valve that's corroded, so basically when you press your foot brake or put the service line on, it dumps the air out, a massive amount of air leaks out, so I'm back today to take the valve off and then we'll get a new valve put on and we'll get it programmed up. Right then guys, so if I put a service line in here, there we go, two seconds, push that in. There we go. You can hear it leaking. Uh, push it back in again. So I can do it while I've got the camera on. There you go, you can hear the alley. There you are guys, that's it plugged in. You can hear it venting out the bottom of the valve there, so uh, yeah. Put that back on. Excellent. Okay, so that's the valve there, there's your modulator valve. And if you look in there, up the corner of the valve there, you can see the corrosion right in there where my finger is. And that's where the air's leaking out of it. So, uh, yep, I'll get those pipes marked and then we'll get that valve off. Yeah, so uh, there's the other side of the valve. And if you look up in there, absolutely corroded away. So, yeah, it's a Wabco Series E, I think this one is. So, um, have a go at getting it programmed, but I'm not sure about this one. I might forget Wayne to come over and uh, give me a hand to program it up afterwards, but yep, we'll worry about that when we get to it. So just go delicately pull these tabs back. See that one there? Where my finger is, pull these back, and they lock the harness in place. And then we can go right along, pull all those harnesses out, but you gotta be really careful you don't break them. So I'm labeling the pipes with masking tape and marking them, and then the corresponding port. I'm just putting a blob of like one, two, three, so I know which pipe goes where. In the past, if you, if you mark the pipe with tip X, that tends to get rubbed off and you'll lose which pipe goes where. So that's that other valve, just left connected, but swung out three, three Allen bolts on, undone, and just swung out the way. I'll have to watch it off. The O-ring has come out of this one and stuck to the old valve, so I'll have to swap that over. I could cause a leak. Okay, so that's on the other side of the valve, so that's all the pipe work disconnected. I think I might just drop it down off its mound, hang it down and then get those plugs off, but I'll see what happens, I'll see what I do. Now that's all coming undone, I didn't need to drop it down, so I've marked the modulator plug numbers. So. You can see I've pulled these two tabs back, just with a pointy nose pair of locking pliers, just pull the plugs out like that, to work my way along. Yeah, happy days flying, guys. Do, do, do. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Right then, we're all disconnected. So what we're going to do now is just undo the two bolts up there that mounted to the chassis, to the chassis bracket, and then that valve's off. Yes, I'm just undoing that bracket to release the valve off the chassis there now. Okay. Whew. Look at that corrosion. I'm covered in corrosion. That's the valve off. <clears throat> oh, and there's the... Uh, o-ring I was telling you about so I'll keep that safe that'll go back on between this valve here so yeah let's get the tools away get that outside outside of the trailer and we'll get a good look at it okay so there's the valve let's see if we can find the corrosion oh there it is oh yeah so I don't know if you can see it but if I zoom in on there you can actually see the hole. There's a hole right in there. You can 
see that. Yep, there's a hole in there. There's a hole in my bucket, Delilah. So that's where the air leak's coming from. Massively corroded that. Right, I've just swung in by Swift Brake and Clutch, and they've got the new valve for me. They got it in specially, so. There's Richard. Thanks, Richard. No problem, Ken. Thanks, mate. Good I'll get on over there now. Yep, I'll get on over there now and get it fitted. Okay, guys, that's the new valve mounted up on the chassis bracket there. So what we're going to do now is get the air pipes put back on, but we'll not connect the electrics because they'll have to be hung onto the old valve so we can retrieve the information, the data off it, and then we'll once we've retrieved that, then we can plug the new one in and we can program that information over to the new one. Okay, so that's the valve with all the pipes in. So uh, I've actually put two new O-rings in there. I've just stuck them in with some nice red rubber grease. So I'm gonna bolt this valve back onto the main valve now. Right then, that's the bracket bolted back on underneath here. And there's the old valve hanging with the electrical connections plugged back in so we can uh, transfer all the data. And so that's all the wires plugged back in. And Wayne's taking the information off the old one and he's put it on the new one. Yep, so Wayne's busy programming it. How's it going, Wayne? Good. Thumbs up. Man. YouTube. YouTube famous. You're a wizard, Wayne. You're a wizard. Right, we're just doing what's called an end of line test, which involves jacking the first axle. Yep, the second axle up and then spinning those wheels. Yep, so Wayne's plugged in there. So he's going to tell me which wheel to spin. Yeah, Wayne. Wayne's from the WHH, and uh, yeah, he's a sucker for punishment. He loves buses. Right, so just busy pressuring it all up for the end of line test. Well, guys, uh, me and Wayne tried, but that valve wouldn't program. Tried everything to get it programmed, and it wouldn't pass its final test. So, because it wouldn't pass the final test, it leaves a, a, an, a, an ABS malfunction light on the dash of the truck, like a, uh, a fault. So, um, yeah, probably have another go at it tomorrow, I'll bring it back in the workshop, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll sort it. Uh, this is real life, so it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, uh, if it had been a Norbrems valve or a Hald X, it would have been no bother, but these uh, Wabco ones are a nightmare. So, yep, yeah, um, I hope, any, uh, anyway, I hope it lets you see how you remove them and how you do go about programming them and anyway as always thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you again with another ken's jobs